Yo, what's good, beautiful people? So today we're gonna continue on with trying something new on the channel. And to spice things up, I thought that we would do an actual uh, commercial breakdown of a project that I recently did for a client. Well, it was the video that was uploaded earlier this week. So we'll take a look at that video together and then I'll kind of give you all a breakdown to help you all get some insight on how I go about doing projects for clients and the things that I look for, how I prepare for the shoot, how I shoot in the field, and then also kind of look at the gear that I choose and also my post-production um, process. So hopefully this video gives you all some value to help you, you know, understand a little bit more as far as the process of filmmaking, but then also it helps you become a better filmmaker yourself. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the computer. What makes us different than most companies out there is our specific deals we want to Okay, so real quick, just some context about the project itself. So this actor here uh, that we see in the opening oh, film. This is Randy. So this is the actual client who actually reached out to me um, to shoot this commercial. So he is a fitness trainer, a nutritionist, um, has a uh, online boot camp and athletic apparel. So anything that deals with health and wellness and fitness and training and working out, he kind of does all of that within that realm. So he reached out to me to asking me to help him come up with a commercial to show or to display this vest. So this vest is like the first men's F fitness vest or athletic vest uh, for working out for men. So he wants to kind of show the benefits of actually using the vest during a workout. So he actually partnered up with Synergy. There's uh, the couple that I'll be interviewing or everybody who's actually in the interview is a uh, Synergy. They operate the actual mask that he's wearing. So that is a VO2 mask. It kind of regulates your oxygen intake, which they'll explain further in the video. But yeah, he told me about them and what he was trying to do. So the first thing that came to mind with me was some Dragon Ball Z training in the hyperbolic chambers slash, you know, an athlete running on a treadmill. So when he told me all that, I already knew that one, to start, I wanted the video to be very, um, like, very intense. So with that, I already knew that majority of the parts, the clips that I will be shooting will be kind of uh, handheld. But then also some of the shots did also needed to be kind of locked off a little more clean and crisp to kind of get an idea of, like, what synergy, how they operate to kind of give them also, like, that mad scientist vibe. So, yeah, let's continue on. Different than most companies out there is our specific deals we want to So, all these shots that you're seeing right here with um, this opening after the actual, you know, major impact that we start uh right here are just all establishing shots you know just one you already see what the athlete is doing you kind of see what synergy is doing with actually prepping him so you already from the start get a feel of exactly what is going on so again these are all just simple establishing shots and how we actually film this so this was actually in the garage of synergy um the company so for them it's kind of hard for them to move all of their you know equipment and computers and everything so they just you know invited us to the house so that the garage was easy for them to set up so what we did here was just simply just open the garage and so we had like the garage to the behind the camera to add in that natural light but then also I set up a uh, 120D um, with a softbox and kind of shot it in the same position which the natural light was coming in. So 
from behind the camera to kind of shoot um, overhead um, at both Randy, um, the athlete training here, but then also to kind of with the softball to kind of spread it and make it soft to kind of fill the room as well. So, and you know, they have mirrors here in the background. So it was kind of tricky to make sure that I didn't pick up any of, you know, stands, mirrors, myself um, in the shot. So I always try to make sure that too, when you're out on location to one, see where the natural light is coming in from, but then also try to recreate or enhance what we naturally see with artificial lighting. So, yeah. So this shot here um, of all the interviewees uh, is actually done in their kitchen. So, of course, if you're in anybody's kitchen, I mean, you know, if you're just popping up, it might not be areas might not be clean. There might be dishes everywhere. There might be certain distractions, you know, in the living room, in the open area. So immediately I already knew I wanted to kind of get them in a corner to where, one, I can kind of separate them from their environment but then also kind of you know come in and shoot it tight on their face to kind of you know hide where they actually live so again with this just putting them here in the corner as you can see like they're actually in the corner of their uh kitchen so you kind of have that that leading lines um to them both from their blinds but then also from the actual uh walls of the kitchen and then that way, um, I had the 120 D set up originally at first to the right of, of the camera. So it would have been shooting on their right side uh, or their left side of the face, right side of the camera to kind of match this window here that's on the right uh, side of the frame. But the sun kept coming in and out. So originally... I was just going to close the blinds, but then the 120D was just a little too powerful. So we just went ahead and just opened up the blinds and just shot with all natural light shooting on their side of the face. And through the video, you'll actually see um, at some times where you can see the sun fluctuating and getting, you know, cloudy and then bright. But, you know, those are kind of just the things that you can not control and you can't control. But, you know, I could have put on the 120D, but... It was just, you know, in the kitchen, small place. The one twenty is just too big. So, so again, right here, uh, this is the shot of, of the kitchen. And um, as far as uh, post production or actually shooting it on location, what I had them, what Kristen and Jay did, I had them actually sit across the table, um, talking to the athlete Randy. And where Randy would just ask them general questions about the test, how it worked, what was the purpose of it. So that way you can make both Kristen and Jay comfortable with actually talking to each other, um, not talking to me or like not trying to talk to the camera, but to actually talk and explain everything to Randy. So all of these shots that you see like moving that are very like tight, close shots, all of these were uh, handheld shots shot with the one DX, and no, these were... So these all these shots were shot uh, on the EOSR with the fifty one point eight, um, and you, I really didn't need uh two bodies to actually shoot this project, um, but I only had the thirty five uh, lens, which is actually EF mount, and then the fifty uh one point eight, which is RF mount. So I essentially had to use uh both cameras. But if you guys had like you know uh 18 and 35 or 24 to 70 or a 35 and a 50 prime like you guys could have easily shot this or replicated this look and style with just one camera so the majority of the shots so like since they had already informed me that the actual uh test would take about like 10 to 15 minutes i already knew that i wanted to use like half of that time to actually get um some wide shots so Majority of the wide shots that you see are all locked off on a tripod, focusing on um, Randy actually with one of the coaches, uh, Kristen, to kind of get that feel of like, you know, you actually being uh, with Synergy in the room, testing with them. But then also every other close up shot that you see was all handheld 
you know, to kind of give you more of like the intensity of what Randy is doing and the difficulty of the actual test, but then also to kind of show, you know, how tired he is throughout the actual whole uh, test. So. Here's a look at what the actual uh, video sounds like with just the music only, so. Okay, so we're not gonna play all of it, but you can already see um, just from the first 20 seconds, 30 seconds that the video without the actual sound effects of the breathing, the bite, the computer, Randy's uh, friction just from like, you know, his footsteps, all of that, like it kind of just sounds like, eh, eh, looks more so like a, I don't even know, a music video, highlight reel or whatever. But yeah, so let's unmute all of that, all the sound effects, and then play it back with just the artificial sounds of the breathing, the bike machine, computer, everything else. What makes us different than most companies out there is our specific VO2 and our testing. <sighs> Baseline of science of your body point. We can show the fitness level, cardiovascular health, and the understanding of. Okay, so just from that quick 40-second intro or that first half of the video, you can see how adding in that additional sound effects or that sound design just makes the viewing experience that more um, pleasurable and you know easier to digest. Just because one, we're able to actually see what we're hearing so just like even just right here like when they're actually putting on the mask you can kind of hear and feel like the actual suction of the mask like sticking or tightening around randy's face to kind of give you that real life feel like if you were wearing it like what it would sound like and what it would feel like and then with here with uh jay actually on the computer you can already start to hear the different computer clicks of him typing and setting up the actual test for Randy. And then you kind of see Randy from the start kind of understanding or starting to control his breath, the bike moving, picking up. And it kind of ties in with the actual uh, music. And you can also hear the actual heartbeat and a heart rate monitor that's kind of like one of my most favorite like although this isn't like a real you know heartbeat monitor it kind of gives you that uh replication of what's going on here in the scene like you've already saw jay setting up everything here on the computer so now if you actually see the numbers and then randy's face also in the background you can kind of understand and psychologically put together that oh Jay's monitoring Randy's breath and heart rate right now. So that was kind of like, that was like my favorite part the of the actual uh, video. So yeah. And then once you add them all together, they sound like this. What makes us different than most companies out there is our specific VO2 and RMR testing.
that is the baseline of science of your body porn. We can show the fitness level, cardiovascular health, and the understanding of how to train at your best. YouTube Max is ultimately giving you the information to work out optimally and gain the most benefit from your exercise. This information um, is analyzed by your breath, so it gives you your specific heart rate ranges, um, your oxygen levels, everything that you need to work out. The vest too, it definitely multiplies that number. It's going to bring up your metabolism. It's going to bring up your internal heat. As a result of that, will increase your metabolic rate so that you're burning a little more calories. So that is a breakdown of how I go about pre-planning, shooting, and editing a video commercial for a client. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to hit that like button. And also let me know down in the comments if you'd like to see more um, breakdowns about client work in the future here on this channel. But if you aren't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and make sure to turn on that notification bell to be notified for future videos, whether it's vlogs, tutorials, educational videos if you like them, and documentaries. So until next time, peace.